I get those goosebumps every time you come around. Another day, it's my beautiful jet ski. This is an elevator, by the way. So this thing goes up and down. You suppress it, some fucking tron shit, you know? Gonna okay, see the boys. Everyone's on the yacht. We're gonna have a fucking amazing time. Top G shit. Let's go. It's another day with the 1% man. We're here, we're live in Southport, man. Just look at the scenery. It's super phenomenal. So, but all we have to do is wait for him. I don't know how the fuck he's gonna come on the yacht. I don't know what's that guy. You know that guy how he is. He just works it out. Just let him be. I don't know what is he gonna do. Abdullah, I heard he's gonna try to, I don't know, helicopter pad it or fucking Bro, I don't know what he's gonna, he's gonna do. Just do. let him do it. But for us, we're here dripping, kicking up. Every time you come around, yeah. I think you get used to it in cars, but obviously you're gonna have, a, have to have it on the yacht. And I actually quite like it, I'm actually quite impressed by it. And yeah, this is it, this is what the 1% is, this is what Top G lives, this is how he lives. And this is where you could be living as well. It's just about, you know, working hard as a man and actually understanding that as a man, you're gonna have a lot of responsibilities. As a man, you're gonna face a lot of difficulties, hardships, everything is coming along the way. And right now, you can only listen to me, right? Or you can keep scrolling. And it's all about the value you take from this. Right? I can live my life, I can go on day by day, or you can just scroll and scroll and scroll and it's just another day for you for the rest of your existence. You can work at Starbucks, KFC, I don't know whatever the fuck it is. But yeah, this is it. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I actually really like this yacht. It's awesome. Monday and Tuesday, I can do this every single day in my entire life. Why? Because I fucking worked hard. A man needs to understand, working hard comes with responsibilities. Working hard comes with results. Working hard comes with it paying you back. At one stage or another, maybe the moment you're living in right now is not working out. Maybe you waited year after year, year after year, and nothing's working out. But God's, God's imagination is a lot bigger than your imagination. All right, I'm holding this. I'm on a yacht, what are you thinking? The first thing that comes to your mind, this guy's got girls in the background, he's got alcohol in his hand, he's living a life and he's forgotten God. Well, guess what? Me being who I am, I've never forgotten God. Me being who I am, this is not alcohol. Me being who I am, there's only boys on this yacht and I can make it happen and live every single moment of it. I'm about that life because I can live a balance and I can please God and I can please myself. I'm all about that. As a Muslim, as someone that follows religion but obviously not to the craziest extent I have my limits and if you're a Muslim out there you're making money you're successful whatever you need to have your balance a lot of Muslims these days are losing themselves a lot of Muslims these days are losing the complete plot why because money gets to them fame gets to them status gets to them yes you might find me telling you that I've got the Lambos and I've got the McLarens and I've got but it's only to inspire you and if you're an idiot not to listen that's on you you can scroll the freedom is you can scroll but the value is you can stay there and listen and take advantage of that and stop being a fucking idiot and jump, you know, by jumping on, putting negative comments. He's rented his car, he's rented his yacht, he's rented... The 1% isn't about this. We're not, we're not about this movement. We're about changing people's lives, inspiring people. And I'm out here doing that and providing you value. So for you to sit there behind camera and hate, that's on you. The loss is yours. A lot of people asking me these days, what's Top G Moves? Top G Moves is I'll jump on a jet ski, I'll jump on a jet ski, get to a yacht, Fly a fucking private jet the next day, see your girlfriend, pick her up on the way. Shit I do every single fucking day and you out here telling me rented, private jet, it's not his, it's not that. Brother, why don't you focus on yourself? Why don't you focus on the bigger things in life? Why don't you take value? Why don't you start adapting? Bro, you're that type of idiot that lets the day run you. I run the day. That's what I'm about. I'm about that. I'm about working hard. I'm about persevering for the better every single day. And you out here, what are you thinking of? Oh, he rented his car. Oh, that's not his car. He rented it from here, I rented it from there. Motherfucker, I've got 350 cars laying in Dubai. I'll drive the Urus, I'll drive the Ferrari, I'll drive the McLaren. But that's not the point. The point is, why don't you take value? 
Why is it every time someone is out there on the internet posting something about his lifestyle, you're the first to hate. You're the first to put a negative comment. You're the fucking idiot, man. And guess what? The day is always gonna run you by the way you work, but I will always run the day. Why? Because Top G moves down here. This is the 1%. This is what it's all about. Yeah, keys for the day. Damn white bitches take along for the play. I've been counting all this money I've been getting every day. Young ass nigga, I'm a god to the ways, yeah. Whole squad don't belong in the city, nigga. Who am I to say the shit again? Back way private than this bitch. You's a fuck, nigga. Ten shots, no luck, nigga. Talking about the bitches that'll change for the game. For the niggas that'll try to switch lanes for the fame. On me, I've been stressed out. Thinking that I never really changed the city. Man, you niggas need to get laid out.